Hey, Snackers, this is Kareem Iskander. Hey, everyone, Matt DiNapoli here. Welcome to episode 160 of Snack Minute. <laughs> uh, this week, we have Mu Basher joining us yet again to talk to us about some of the updates to uh, the cybersecurity uh, certifications uh, coming up. So, Mu Basher, if you don't mind introducing you, yourself again to those who are new here with Snack Minute, and then we'll jump right into it. Thank you for having me here, Kareem and Matt. Hi, Snackers, it's good to be back, and I'm looking forward to this conversation. My name is Muvashir Nawaz, and I manage the Cisco certification portfolio. My team is responsible for the certification roadmaps. We manage the life cycle of all Cisco certification from associate to expert level, including revisions, new exam launches, and end of life for exams. Today's Snack Minute is focused on cybersecurity updates, and I'm really excited for this opportunity to present upcoming changes in the Cisco CyberOps certification program to our snackers here. Cybersecurity is one of the most in-demand and growing industry. According to 2023 Cisco Cybersecurity Readiness Index, 60% of the companies have faced cyber attacks in the last 12 months alone. Unfortunately, there's a global skill shortage in cybersecurity market, and it is becoming more critical to have certified individuals who can protect companies against these attacks. Yeah, thanks, Mubashar, for coming on and for, the, for this information. I know... Um, I know you're here to talk about the cybersecurity program. Can you tell our snackers what is changing in the cybersecurity program? So Kareem, as part of our annual cycle, our SMEs reviewed the cyber ops certification. And as part of Cisco's commitment to AI and cybersecurity field, we will be aligning our priorities with Cisco's strategy. So effective January 21st, 2025, our cyber ops certifications will be updated to Cisco cybersecurity certification. They will include AI related topics and will align more to the growing skills need for cybersecurity field. With the help of predictive AI and cybersecurity associate, as well as AI powered and AI driven analysis in cybersecurity professional certification, you can prepare yourself for the latest in AI-driven cybersecurity trends and job roles. So starting January 21st, 2025, anyone holding a cyber ops certification will automatically be recognized as holding a cybersecurity certification. This provides our customers an end-to-end -end certification path from entry level to expert level certification for security, starting with the CCST cybersecurity to associate to professional to expert level certification uh, in CCI. Um, so for those of us that are kind of follow along the certification tracks and, um, you know, kind of navigate these things through the the, the codes, are, are we expecting a change to the um, exams and the exam codes going into, are, are those gonna be changed as well? So very good question, Matt. The track itself will be updated from cyber ops to cybersecurity exam names and numbers will remain the same, but version numbers will change. For example, the associate level cyber ops associate is going to be updated from version 1.1 to version 1.2. The professional level core exam and forensic analysis incident response is being updated from version 1.1 to version 1.2. The only exception to version updates in current uh, review is the existing cyber threat exam, which will remain at version 1.0 and has no changes at this point. So, Mubasha, can we talk a little bit about the reason why behind us changing from cyber ops to cybersecurity? The idea, Kareem, is to align ourselves more with the Cisco strategy, which is focused on cybersecurity. And we are going to make sure that uh, our certification also aligns with that strategy. And we have a clear path from entry level to the expert level where we, we can offer and meet our customers where whichever stage of professional career they are in right now. As of today, when, when this is announced, if I am somebody that's after my cyber ops and I'm starting my cyber ops associate, this here does not affect me whatsoever and I should just basically continue doing what I'm doing. Is that correct? That That is that is totally correct. If you are currently preparing and appearing in your exam before January 20th, 20, January 21st, 2025, you should continue preparing for your exam. It should not affect you. The new blueprints and the new naming will be affected from January 21st onwards. Okay. That's, I, I, I know that that's always, uh, 
a, a thing that any any uh, learner that's after completing their certification is always asking is like, do I need to to halt or do I need to continue? So it's it's a bit of a relief. So for this for this new cybersecurity exam, though, I presume there's going to be some resources available. Uh, Mubasher, can you give us a clue into what resources will be available? So there is a lot of resources available from Cisco on same, including the free security tutorials in Cisco U, along with all the security trainings that can be used to prepare for your cybersecurity exams. Cisco U offers a lot of training materials focused on updated topics covering SIM, SOAR, along with product trainings focused on cloud security, secure access, secure edge, XDR, and many more. In addition, I always say, do not prepare them alone. Join Cisco U communities. We already have a lot of followers, posts, and articles there for you to review and discuss. Any questions you have on security and cybersecurity front, I recommend you to visit and join these community to prepare yourself for these exams. I want to touch on something, but before we, we get and talk about it, tell our snackers what are the key dates that they need to remember for uh, for this. And then I know there's been a lot of whisper and talks about ethical hacking, and I want to talk about that after. <laughs> Perfect. Amazing. So if you're preparing for CyberOps current version, as I mentioned earlier, continue preparing for it. You still have time till January 20th, 2025. The first date to test for the new version will be January 21st. For more information, I highly recommend please visit the CyberOps updates webpage and our CERT roadmap space to update yourself with the latest information and lifecycle updates for Cisco certification. Okay. Now, ethical hacking, we've been talking about it for a bit here. Can you share some more information on that? So on October 8th, 2024, we announced our new Cisco certificate in ethical hacking. This is the first time we are offering a certificate uh, in, in any, any, uh, any of our programs. This program empowers you to master essential offensive security skills and tackle real-world cyber threats while earning your Cisco certificate in ethical hacking. You will become proficient in the art of scoping, executing, and reporting on vulnerabilities assessment while recommending mitigation strategies. Follow an engaging gamified narrative throughout the course and get lots of practice with hands-on labs inspired by the real-world scenarios that we face. <laughs> That's awesome. So uh, to, to get involved in the ethical hacking program, how, how does, can you give us some steps on how that program would work? So to start, you need to go to net netacad.com and complete the free Cisco ethical hacker course. It's already available. Uh, you can go and do it. Uh, download the challenge topics from the cisco.com uh, ethical hacking uh, landing page. Then you go to Cisco U to sign up for the capture the flag challenge pass your first challenge and earn your Cisco certificate in ethical hacking and badge and watch for new challenges, which are going to be available every nine weeks for you to earn more badges. That's a commitment. <laughs> yeah. This is, this is kind of cool. Actually, Matt, if, um, if you think about it, we're from a Cisco perspective, we've always, and we cover this a lot on, you know, various, uh, episodes and podcasts, but we talk a lot about blue teaming in our cybersecurity or cyber ops is all about that, that blue teaming and that defense, but we don't really talk about um, the offense side of things from a security perspective and mm -hmm. bringing in the ethical hacking into the fold kind of merges the blue and the red team together into more of a purple teaming. Um, and it's, it's, I think it's a really good thing that we're doing here. And it's, uh, it's pretty popular on, on netacat.com. So I'm excited to see the results of this. Yeah, that's neat. Cause it's, uh, to, cybersecurity has kind of always, not always been, but it's a reactive practice, right? Um, and it's, it's kind of cool to start to think about it proactively, um, and, and get that out there. I, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm intrigued. <laughs> I'll say that. Um, we don't have much time left, Mubasher, but uh, just to wrap up, uh, for our snackers, uh, what actions do you recommend that they take before, uh, or actually after watching this video and before uh, January? So the updated exam topics for cybersecurity are already available to you guys. So anyone appearing in the exam after on or after January 21st, please go, go ahead and look at those exam topics. I highly recommend everyone to look at the topics and especially to look at the release notes. 
they highlight the key differences between version 1.1 and version 1.2 it clearly mentions which topics to focus on in each domain and highlights the percentage included in the exam in front of it while preparing for the exam your starting point should always be the exam topics and then preparing from there onwards using the resources that are available in Cisco U as a next step go get your ethical hacking certificate everyone it's an amazing badge that i would like to add to my list and start preparing for the new cybersecurity exams which are going to be available to you starting january 21st next year awesome yeah. Matt, should i even ask you if you're going to attempt the certificate uh i might <laughs> 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 I mean, it's definitely more accessible to a, a, a person like me than so, like a DevNet expert. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> or your CCNA. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time, Mubasha. That's that's unfortunate all the time we have today. Uh, snackers, uh, go check out the the new information coming out on the cyber ch change from cyber ops to cybersecurity um, and all the new content around the ethical hacking certificate. So thank you again, and we'll see you guys uh, next time. Thanks, Mobasher, and thank you, Snackers. Thank you, guys.